Welcome to the assembly video guys of the altar of the Sukubi. To assemble this model we will need some basic modeling tools. Find the tile cutters, a hobby knife, cyanocrylate glue and cyanocrylate activator. Once we have all the pieces clean and separated from the sprue, we start with the wheels. You can see they are very easy to assemble. We only need to match holes and pegs and glue them. We do the same with both big and small wheels. Leave them aside without sticking to the main body until all is painted. We continue with the main body front piece. Notice every piece has letters and numbers in the joints to identify which parts go together. Glue the right side and the small center piece and then glue the left side. We continue with the central section of the main body. We follow the number letter joints guide as we do before. The back section is more complicated, so here you can see a breakdown of all the pieces involved. We begin with sides. Continue with the central platform and we end gluing the three sections. Glue the spines on the sides. We set aside the cure fruit without gluing it for now. Attach the central piece to the back. And now we can glue the root over the ramp. We display all the main body without gluing. Assemble the demonic faces trunk. Joint the different parts, taking into account the shape, the holes and the letter numbers guide. Don't worry if you appreciate any group between pieces, we will fix it later. Stick the trunk to the central and back section. Then the wooden platform to the front main body piece. Assemble the two small pieces you find with the wooden platform. Glue it to the big platform, remembering that you can check the reference image to be sure about how to do it. At this time, we can attach all the main body. It is almost done, only a few details left. Glue these small demon funk pieces to the trunk. And the sharp edge spikes to the front side.
We joined together the two halves of the big bloody cauldron and glued it to the top of the trunk. Now we glue the blood stuff piece inside the cauldron. We place the huge plate on the back of the cauldron. Stick the small spikes in the edge of the cauldron, double on the front and single on the sides. We must leave a free space on the left side of the blade. Later, harpies will be placed there. We still have some small spikes to glue on the main body. Now we have finished the altar body, we continue assembly the harpies that flutter around the bloody cauldron. Remember, each piece has a letter that match with its pair. First of all, we have to assemble each harpy separately. I suggest not to glue them to the altar before painting. It will be easier to paint this way and it avoids any piece to be broken. We assemble Block Vestal and the Pisces who makes the sacrifice, setting them apart with the others. Finally, we assemble the slaves that drag the huge altar. We have two of them on the front. The one with the right leg in front goes in the right side, and the one with the left leg in front goes in the left side. These two have joints in their backs that fit with two of the sharp spikes on the front. As with all of the other characters, I prefer to paint the slaves before gluing them to the altar. There are four more slaves that push the altar from the back side. We have some slaves on the sides too. For a right assembling, we have to ensure the slaves have their fist upwards. Other one has its head joining to the pike. We place the slaves on each side, alternating them by the position of the leg they have ahead. Left leg forward, right leg forward, left leg forward, and so on. When we have painting them, we will glue, inserting the pike in each of the three holes that are on the sides of the main body of the altar. One interesting thing to know is that when a resin piece is cast, it always shrinks or wraps. There is no way around it. 
depending on the type of the part, the foundry can minimize that effect, but whatever they do, it will always happen. On smaller pieces, this is rarely an issue, but on non-organic shapes or fairly thick parts, the effects tend to be stronger. It is not a big issue, but it means that we will have a little bit of modeling to do if we want to make the parts fit perfectly. So, if when assembling the different parts of the model we notice we have some holes or groups, it is part of the hobby and we have some ways to fix it. To cover these groups, I use different elements. Plastic puri, liquid green stuff, a rubber brush, a modeling spatula and a flat brush. We fill the group with plastic putty and with the help of the rubber brass we remove the remaining material. We can also clean around the group with the flat brush wet in water. If we use liquid green stuff, the process is similar. Maybe we should apply several layers to completely cover the groove. We apply it with the wet flat brush. When the grooves are too large, I prefer to apply cyanoculate gel and then some material that also texturizes. In this case, I use fine grain sand. In future videos we will paint the different parts of this great model until we have it completely assembled and ready for the battle. Don't miss it! Thanks for watching!